Good morning, Sarah. It's Thursday, October 11th. One, your puppies are adorable. As is your haircut. I like it. If you want to take it as a challenge to write something I can't get the ending of, I would totally love that. We just have to set some rules, though, about how we go about that so I can, like, make predictions without you knowing what they are necessarily so you don't just write whatever I don't guess. And I don't know if we could do it over video because it would take up video time and I already have trouble editing things down because I tend to ramble and don't talk fast enough. So we'll figure it out. But I do like that idea. I feel like you should challenge me to do something now, but I don't know what you would do. And between like the vlog project and school and homework and the fact that I'm making my Weeping Angel costume, my time's a little tied up. But if you could challenge me to do something that I could do in less than like two hours, that would totally be okay with me. And I would be all for that. Mostly I just think you should be impressed that I'm eating this video up at all when I've spent like, I don't know, 12 of the last 24 hours watching Sherlock. I just need to say that Benedict Cumberbatch, probably my favorite forever. I don't always like Watson, but Sherlock, he's great. Great. So yes, I'm challenging you to write something that I cannot guess the ending of because Sherlock was also predictable in some instances. Not as predictable as some of the other things that I've been watching lately, but there were instances where I knew what Sherlock was talking about and no one else did. And I was like, yeah, it's that. And then Sherlock finishes explaining. He's like, it's this. And I was like, I know, I'm right there with you, Sherlock. And everyone else was like, I don't know where they are. Narnia. I don't know. They don't know. Sad. I was going to tell you what my problems were on Tuesday when I texted you. It was like, I don't know if there'll be a video today. I'll let my Tuesday self tell you. Yeah. So this morning I get up and I'm like gonna post my video. It's like 7.45. I was really proud of myself since I didn't go to bed till like almost four. And I was like, yeah, I'll just get up and go ahead and post it or upload it this morning because it'll take a little while and then I will be done and I can go back to bed and then when I get up, it'll be done. I get up at like 9.30, there's no power. The power in my entire apartment is off. And I was like, what? No, no, not okay. You know, trying to figure out what's going on. Apparently there was a scheduled power outage so they could do maintenance and updates. And I did not know this. So the power, but the power in my entire apartment's off. So then I'm like, maybe I'll just go run my errands and then the power will be up back on before I go to school. And then I can post my video and get my homework for my class today. And then what happens on my way to go do my errands? I don't even make it to like the stoplight outside my apartment before my car starts acting up again. So then I'm like, crap, now I have to take my car into the shop, so I'm pretty much not going to class today because I don't have power in my apartment, so I don't have any of my work, and I don't have a car to get there. I was like, what am I going to do? So I ended up doing what I always do when I'm, like, upset. I get home and I do things like this. That's right. I cook when I'm upset. And... It's kind of terrible because I always cook enough for like eight people. I can't eat for eight people, nor would I want to. And it was delicious actually, but I did eat it for like three meals and breakfast the next day as well. Whenever I go to Steak and Shake, I always get like a fresco melt, but if you get a milkshake and drink it, that will be good enough. So keep being authentically awesome. And I'll see you either in person when you get back or on Monday online.